Hey guys! So I figured I would do a switch purses with me video. I did switch back to this purse for a little while and as much as I love using it I'm just in that mood where I want to switch it up and use something different kind of all the time. So that is what we're going to be doing tonight. So I'm just going to take everything out and put it on my desk to make it easier. I got this from QT earlier, did not eat it. And when I'm putting everything in my other purse, I'll just explain what everything is. But this purse can actually hold quite a lot, which is one reason I love it so much. And I mean, you cannot deny how beautiful this is. I freaking love it so much. More candy. are falling everywhere. So it's everything in the main part. I gotta clean out the pockets. It's insane. Everything that is laying on my desk right now that came out of this purse. You would, you would not think this purse could hold everything that's up here. And I still have more to take out of this zippered compartment. Alright. Everything is out of this purse. Now I don't think you guys have seen this purse. I think I've showed it to you. But I don't think I've ever switched to this purse with you guys, so I am going to go ahead and be using this purse. Um, I'm wondering if it's going to sit high enough up for you guys to be able to see me put stuff in it. Maybe I will just kind of lower this a little bit more. And it's, again, kind of like crinkled from being stored for so long so I'm gonna have to hold it for a few minutes and put some things in it to get it to stand up on its own. I need to recheck what is in here possibly add more things to it but I'm gonna go ahead and add my wallet and my bombshell Guys, that is just my go-to. Okay, maybe it'll stand up now. Nope, it's still gonna try and fall over on me. My notebook for making lists or anything else that I think of while I'm out. My little planner. Of course, my sunglasses. Some tissues because we all know how I've been lately. <laughs> Um, I will go ahead and put my lip balm in, well, I don't know how well the slip pockets are in this purse, so I'm going to give that a minute. I'm going to keep a little tin of Q-tips in my purse just in case. My little mirror. I'm going to go, that pen should not be open in my purse. But I'm going to go ahead and add all of my pens and highlighters to the bottom there. Um, my Mantos mints go into a slip pocket. I'm going to keep these eye drops in that pocket as well. Okay, now the purse is going to stand up. I'm going to check and see what I have in here. Alright, I've got... Floss picks, a bug off wipe, some band aids. Got about four band aids. I should keep more band aids in here though. I have that key to my mom's cabinet thing, some antibiotic ointment. 
Um, I think I'm going to add just a couple of these day quills in here in case I'm out and really need them. I obviously wouldn't want to take the night quill ones while I'm out because then I would pass out. I'm also going to keep some Aura Gel in here in case I get a really bad toothache or something when I'm out. And I'll keep the pink eye eye drops I was using in there as well so they're not just floating around my purse. And again, I've never had pink eye. My mom strictly bought the pink eye drops because they don't burn when your eyes are really irritated. Um, but... I was really, really bad about putting stuff in my eyes before. I hated it. I couldn't stand it. But now it's not as bad as I always thought. So I'm able to do it now, thank God, because I needed to get that crap out of my eyes. Um, I'm really sad because every time I go to Dollar Tree, I don't see these anymore. I see the, the caramel apple ones that are like the harder outer shell and the inside is like the liquid apple flavor. I don't want those. I want the soft caramels infused with the caramel apple flavor, and I haven't seen them, and by now, I mean, I know it's still technically fall, but they're probably going to start bringing out more of the Christmassy type stuff, which I'm totally okay with, but I really want more of these, and I can't find this exact one, so I'm trying to eat them slowly so I have them for longer. Um, I am going to keep a pack of unopened white chocolate peanut M&M's in my purse because I love a good snack and those are my favorite M&M's. Baby aspirin for Alden, of course. Some Altoids. You can never have too many mints or gum or anything in your purse because um, mask breath is a real thing, people. Gum. <laughs> also going to keep that in the slip pocket. Well, you know what? I have an idea for that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put my wipes in here. It's almost time to put the new pack in here. I'm also going to keep this in my purse because you never know if you're in the car and you get hungry and you just want a little snacky snack and whatever. Um, okay, my lotion and my hand sanitizer should... This, just, this slip pack is just not that good. Um... What am I going to do here? The lotion, I'll just kind of stick right down here. This, um, since this is the one I'm trying to use up first, it's almost empty. I'm going to put in this front zippered pocket where I'm also going to keep my chapstick just for easy reach. Um, what else was I going to keep up there? Oh, my gum. Uh, nail clippers because I always tend to need them and then I'm always like rummaging around in my purse because I can't find them and then I'm keeping a new thing of hand sanitizer in here for when my other one runs out you know what I'll keep mints gum chapstick um, nail clippers in there just, I don't know, it kind of weirds me out to keep this with gum and mints. Not that it would leak, but I mean, you you never know. So I'm just going to keep this in here where I can hopefully find it easily when I need it. I found my miniature nasal spray. You guys have seen my bigger one. This one was just left in, I think, this purse, and I hadn't used it in so long. So I have this now, which is perfect because we're coming up on, like, fall into winter where that is when I normally get sick and this comes in handy. It's just the Ocean Saline Nasal Spray. It says it's doc doctor recommended brand. It's for allergies, cold, flu, sinusi sinusitis, rhinitis, and dry irritated nasal passages. But it really helped me when I was really, really sick and like just couldn't blow my nose. It was so congested. Um, you just spray this up there and it helped tremendously and it's safe for kids. So that's always really good. So I am keeping that in here. Um, and then with the slip pockets, I will try and keep, well, you know what? No, I'm going to keep my mask in this front flap right here. 
that's right underneath this zippered pocket. But Alden's masks, I will try and keep just in this slip pocket right there. Hopefully they stay. My pill container has to be with me at all times in case I ever need anything. Sometimes I feel like I'm a wall walking Walgreens, but you know what? That's okay. I get it from my mom. <laughs> um, and then of course my lip plumping gloss. I love this stuff. I'll add this to the front zippered pocket as well. This I put in there because it's really pretty and I thought maybe I would use it, but I haven't been using it. You know what though? I am curious just to see how it would look over this lipstick that I love so much. Somehow it quit recording. Don't know how that happened, but what I last checked I was doing, I tested this lip gloss over the top of this lipstick. I really like it. I think it's really pretty. It gives it a really pretty sheen, although I do prefer my lipstick matte. In the off chance I want to switch it up, I will definitely do this duo. And then I started putting stuff into the back zippered pocket of my purse on the inside. Deodorant wipes, um, my safe keys, my phone charger, a makeup remover wipe, a set of house keys for me and my mom's friend just in case he locks his keys in his house again. I don't need to keep NyQuil in my purse because that would just knock me out somewhere and that would not be good. But um, I was trying to tell a story when I was putting the deodorant wipes in there is that I would have nightmares on my way to work. Well, I would be on my way to work in my nightmare and I would realize that I forgot to put deodorant on. Now as a server or a hostess, you know, you're running around the restaurant all day long and um really need to be wearing deodorant and it was just such a fear of mine like BO and not smelling good like I love to smell good I love when people tell me I smell good it just makes me feel really good I have to smell good so I've had so many nightmares about forgetting to put deodorant on so now that I have these deodorant wipes it makes me feel a little bit better not that I forget deodorant but there are days that I'm like did I put deodorant on I don't remember, but now I have wipes just in case. Um, and then of course I always put my keys in last so they're right on top. And you know what, I think that is everything. Feels a little bit heavy, but I mean that's to be expected with a little bit bigger of a purse. But this is what it looks like all filled out. So again, I just have my mask right here and this front flap easy to reach. And here I just have my chapstick, gum, lip gloss, mints, nail clippers, and then here's what the inside looks like. Well, I didn't zip this back pocket yet, so let me show you one more time. And it's like organized the way I know where everything is. I really like this purse. Um, I love the color of it. I love the contrast of all of these colors against the gray. And I like that it's a really thick strap. That way it's comfortable when you're wearing it crossbody. Um, I did also mention before that there are two extra pockets. So this part zips open and is a really deep pocket. And then this part zips open and is also a really deep pocket. So if you wanted to keep maybe papers or something in there, or I don't know, something, you, you could keep anything you want in there, but there's plenty of room, plenty of pockets. I love this purse. I got it from Target maybe two years ago, maybe a year ago. I really can't remember, but it was about 30, $30, like $29.99 or maybe even like $32.99. And I think Target prices are real crazy especially for Target purses, but I get it. But I loved it so much I had to get it. I honestly don't even know where the original strap to this is. The original strap is a long crossbody strap, but it looks just like this. It's thin and gray, and it was very uncomfortable, which is why I bought this strap on Amazon. It's just like a, a adjustable guitar strap. There's t tons of different patterns and colors you could get. And I just like to use them for my purses. So 
Thank you guys for switching purses with me. I'm glad I got to sit down and do another sit down video with you guys. It's been too long. I want to continue to do it though. I'm trying to think up more ideas of what to do. So if you guys have any ideas of what you'd like to see me do, let me know and I will definitely try and do that for you. Um, I'm going to come up with some more ideas tonight. It, excuse me. It'd be nice if I could do another video tonight. I just... Not really sure what to do, but I will come up with some ideas and I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.